today I'm going to make a video all about my hermit crabs as been requested by a few of my viewers. I have had my hermit crabs for over a year now and I currently have three hermit crabs and I actually bought them all on separate occasions. I originally decided to adopt hermit crabs since I couldn't really have any animals in my apartment except small animals in aquariums so I opted for hermit crabs. Come on, you can't cuddle with a fish. For such little animals, they have such huge personalities. They've made me really happy when times are tough. Previous to adopting my first hermit crab, I did a lot of research on hermit crabs and I could probably sit here for an hour discussing their delicate lives, but I won't, obviously. The first hermit crab I ever adopted is Arlo. He used to be really tiny when I first brought him home, but he's molted about five times since then, and he's a, uh, he's a big boy now. So my flippin' nice camera decided to die, and I'm dumb, and I forgot my battery charger thing at my house which is not here so I'm gonna record from my computer because I know that all are really waiting for this hermit crab video so uh, hopefully this quality will do anyway this is Arlo now I can actually see what I'm doing you can see him Arlo is way bigger now than he was when I first adopted him and you can see it's him now, and this used to be his old shell, so it was doesn't look that small here, but compared to him now, it's actually pretty small. Like if you saw it in person, you would be able to tell that his shell is a lot smaller. When a hermit crab molts, they basically shed their exoskeleton. They make room for their soft body, which continues to grow, so they need to get rid of their exoskeleton, and then they shed their exoskeleton, and then they wait for their new exoskeleton to harden. During the molt, they bury themselves in the ground and they usually rest for, could be up to four weeks even, or more. And during this time, they're basically resting and waiting for their new exoskeleton to harden so they can go out into the world without being eaten. You don't shelter your hermit crab when they're molting. They can be subject to cannibalism. Long story short, Arlo has grown a lot since I adopted him. He has the personality of a bodybuilder and a king. He's actually a girl. The girls have a marking on their lower abdomen that males do not have. So Arlo is actually a girl, but I'm not changing his name to Arla because I like the name Arlo. Arlo loves music and he loves to dance whenever I'm playing guitar. He comes out of his little hut he looks at me and he dances, and he also loves watching the sunset. I'll put him by the window and he just looks out there in amazement. He also likes looking at himself in the mirror. He's actually also name trained, so if I call for him, he will come from wherever he is, whether he's upside down on top of the cage or in his hut or under the ground, he comes up and he'll come to me. He ain't dumb. The look of Arlo. That's what he looks like. Enough about Arlo. This is my newest hermit crab. His name is Newbie. I just adopted him very recently, so his name Newbie kind of stuck even though his real name is Rambo. This poor little boy has four legs if you include his claws, which means that he had some sort of trauma and had to let them go. Here's a closer look at him. He only has two legs and two pinchers. Limbs can fall off for many reasons. Often times of trauma, if they fall down or hurt a limb, they often will just drop it, let it go, and then when they molt, they'll grow it back. No big deal. Newbie is a really dark color. It can be due to different types of crabs, as there's many different types of hermit crabs that often can affect the color of the crab. Also could be because of a lack of calcium in the hermit crab's diet. The light change, this is awkward. This is what I give them every day, and they really like this. I've tried to give them stuff like this. They kind of like it. It's just like a variety diet. I also have their little treats, more like pellet food medleys kind of thing. I always like to switch it up 
but honestly, this is the stuff that they've liked the most. You always have to remember to switch up their food because they, like us, get very bored of having the same food every single day. Hermit crabs can eat a lot of the things that you eat as well. Hermit crabs are known as scavengers, so they're going to scavenge and find whatever they can to eat in the wild. So they can eat pretty much anything natural. They love fruit, although sometimes they're picky, which what types of fruit they like. But I like to give mine strawberries, bananas, apples, peaches, anything like that, even grapes. They like it, and you just made their day. They also like some vegetables. Sometimes I'll give them a cooked carrot, make sure it's not cooked with any sauce or anything, just a plain cooked carrot, or a piece of lettuce. I don't know. I like to experiment with natural foods, fruits, and vegetables I like to give them. In order to get some more calcium into their food, I like to scrape some cuddle bone. And cuddle bone is actually a little bone. It kind of looks like an oval. You get it from the pet store and you can shave pieces off of it. And birds bite on it for calcium and it works for hermit crabs too. And it gives them calcium so that when they do molt, they're turned to really, really pretty colors like my next hermit crab named Piggy. This is Piggy. She's about to come out. A little shy but she is easily the most colorful hermit crab but there she is the most colorful hermit crab that I have when I bought her she was the last hermit crab at the store and when I brought her home she was literally so hungry that she sat in the food bowl for three days the dumb pet store didn't have any food for her or any water for her so I was able to nurse her back to health you appreciate me real name is actually Melody but Piggy kind of stuck since her shell is pink. He was easily the most timid out of all of my hermit crabs when I first got her. I didn't see her before I bought her. I just saw there was a shell and there was a hermit crab in it. It was the last one at the pet store and I could tell it was malnourished and needed a home so therefore I adopted it and she was really hard to hand train but now we're friends. I usually don't prefer to purchase hermit crabs that have these colored shells because most likely they were abused and forced into these shells for selling purposes. So usually hermit crabs that have been in these shells have been abused and I don't appreciate that and I just don't like to support that. Since I could tell that she really needed a home, I decided to take her home with me. But despite her past, she is quite gorgeous and she has some purple and some pink. The sun is in the way, but you can see her purple and pink. When she was molting, Arlo kept trying to eat her, but he, sometimes he will bully the other hermit crabs. But even though they bully each other, they're actually used to traveling in packs of 300 or more hermit crabs. So you always want to have your hermit crabs in groups. You never want to just have one because they can get really, really lonely. Alright, so you have seen my little friends. And now I think it's a perfect time to go through the care and keeping of your hermit crabs. First of all, you need a tank that's big enough for the amount of hermit crabs that you have. Number two is that you need at least an inch of soil around the area of the tank so that hermit crabs, they love to dig and that way they can molt as well. They also can dig sometimes if they're stressed out. It's They just go underground uh, if they're stressed out so they need enough space to do that. Many people put pebbles in their hermit crab tanks, which is a horrible idea, so don't do that. This is what the hermit crab soil I get looks like. It just looks like this, and it looks really small, but this thing puffs up to like four times its original size, and you just stick it in water for half an hour. I think you put a cup of water in here, and then it puffs up, and then you can put it in the hermit crab tank. I think it works a lot better than sand and pebbles, obviously. Some pebbles near the water area, that's just because they spill their water all the time. Arlo will flip his water thing over if he's having a grumpy day, and water just gets everywhere. So pebbles near water is okay, but as long as the rest of the majority of the tank is filled with hermit crab soil, you'll be fine. Apparently I'm getting a back massage. Thanks, buddy. Tip three is to keep your hermit crab tank moist. Hermit crabs do not have lungs. They actually have gills. Through those gills, 
they breathe in the moisture of the humidity of the tank. It's important to have a gauge on the tank that tells you the temperature and the humidity. This is what my gauge looks like. And as you can see, it has the temperature and the humidity. Your humidity, you're gonna want at least 70 to 85% humidity. And temperature, you're gonna want the tank to be about 70 to 80 degrees. So what I do is I have a spray bottle. I have their special water in it, which I will talk to you in about two seconds about. And I'll maybe like three or four times a day, I'll just spray inside the tank on the ground. I avoid their food so it doesn't get soggy. <laughs> I also have special heating pads for hermit crabs that I have stuck on the bottom of their tank. And that's really nice, especially if your house gets really cold and you still want them to be warm. I keep it under their soil, so if they're really cold, they can always dig down and be closer. But if they're a little warm, they can always get higher and be a little cool in case they get too warm. And I'm not there to monitor their temperature. Next tip, you need to give your hermit crabs fresh water and salt water, not one or the other. Because some hermit crabs drink the fresh water and bathe in the salt water and some do the opposite. Most of my hermit crabs drink the fresh water and they bathe in the salt water. It's really cute when they bathe because <laughs> Arlo, he gets in his water bowl and he just falls back and he gets water everywhere and it's lovely. You can't just give them water from the faucet and you can't just give them water with salt in it. It has to be a certain special water for hermit crabs. In order to give them the proper water, you need to have water conditioners. I have my fresh water conditioner and my salt water conditioner. What I do is you're supposed to put two drops of this in every eight ounces of water. So what I do is I will measure out eight ounces of water. I In this bottle, I put the clean, pure water and I already marked the bottle so I can just pour water from from my Brita. I use my Brita filter. I pour water from my Brita filter up to eight ounces and then I put two drops of this in it and I shake it around and your water is ready to go to be sprayed on your hermit crabs. I also have a separate pen for the salt water. I use this color, same thing like this. Here is what my salt water conditioner looks like. This one you put a tablespoon worth of conditioner inside your eight ounces of regular water. All right, next tip, huts. Hermit crabs are hermits, so therefore they enjoy crawling in a closed, dark space in order to sleep and relax and simply hang out, a lot like myself. And right now they each have their own hut. Sometimes they like to cuddle with each other, but lately they haven't been very cuddly towards each other. They've been more selfish. Our daytime is their nighttime, and our nighttime is their daytime, which it can be a little annoying. The reason hermit crabs are loud at night is because they love to be crazy and climb on everything. You need to make sure you have lots of things for them to climb on. Sometimes I will supervise let them crawl around my room in various places, make sure they are clean, and make sure that you make barricades because they will crawl off of your desk and run into a dark crevice. Another thing that I have never ever heard of any hermit crab not loving is chicken. Plain chicken is literally the best thing in the world to them. All my hermit crabs are, remember when I first give them chicken for the first time ever, they they like walk up to it all confused. Why am I so attracted to this? And then they take a bite and then I have seen one of my hermit crabs grab a piece of chicken with their claw and run to their hut to hope that no one steals a piece of chicken from them. They love chicken, just plain chicken, just nom nom nom. You can also give them other meats. One more thing I want to mention, keeping the tank clean. I clean the tank out, including all of the soil. I want to say every three months, I clean everything. Maybe every four months. 
clean everything and make sure that your tank is clean. When you're cleaning your hermit crab tank, a lot of things should be boiled. Things that won't melt, such as shells, that they're obviously not in because you need to keep a lot of shells in their cage so that if they are molting soon or if they have just molted and they need to change into a bigger shell that they have access to these bigger shells. But do not use any type of soap. Make sure that you use either vinegar or baking soda or if there's a special hermit crab soap that I don't know about, I'm sure that would be fine too. See, I think I've covered everything. Now I'm going to show you a little tour of the hermit crab cage that you see behind me. That's pretty much it. I hope you are all well. I'm going to make an update video next week about my health as some big changes have happened recently. Good things. So yay. I will talk to you in the next video. Bye! So here is what the hermit crab cage looks like from the outside. I have my temperature monitor and my humidity monitor. So here is two of the huts. One of them is a hut that came with my beginning hermit crab kit. This is a little makeshift one. Once I got newbie, he really wanted his own hut and the others weren't sharing, so I made this out of a red solo cup. Seems to like it a lot. He's in there a lot. Here I have a coral stick, and they love to climb on this, and they'll climb on top of the huts and hang out. This lovely thing back here, I just bought it from the craft store. It's called a plastic canvas, and it has these little holes, and the hermit crabs like to climb up them, and then they like to climb on the top. To the tank see right here I have their castle and Arlo likes to climb on it and there's a hole that sometimes they climb into but I think they're all too big to climb it now <laughs> here I have their bridge and there's actually a it's hollow on the inside all this is hollow and I think there's two hermit crabs chilling in there right now and they like it a dark spot to hang out and chill I have some of their flaky food this is actually a medicine bottle top that I cleaned and saved, and it works perfect. If there are my crabs really hungry, sometimes they'll just stick their whole body in there and start chowing down. Here I have the little tree. It's just a fake tree that they like to climb on and hang out. In this section of the hermit crab cage, I have their two waters and I have extra shells. I keep them faced up like this so that they can easily look at the shell, see if it's the right size for them, and they can try it on if they want. I have more pebbles over here because they like to spill the water and sometimes it gets really muddy. Here I have their fresh water and most of them will drink from this. And I have a little sponge in here. It's a natural sea sponge. It helps with their humidity and it also helps so that no one will get drowned in here. In this one, I have their salt water and they like to bathe in this. So I don't have a sponge in here because I know none of them are gonna drown because I keep the water lower here but they like to bathe in this clean themselves off if they've been digging they can get really dirty sometimes that's basically their hermit crab tank and hopefully I need to get um I want to get a branch that'll go across the whole tank so that they can do a little more climbing that is our tank. I'll step back. I believe it's a five gallon tank and I usually will keep a small towel over this to help keep some of the humidity inside for the hermit crabs. So that's basically a tour of the hermit crab cribs. So that is their home.